Ham versus Macclesfield and welcome to my co-commentator, one of the stars of the 1965 Cup Winners' Cup team, here for his co-commentary debut, Mr Brian Deere. Welcome Brian. Good evening Chris. Uh, so this is your first ever game on co-commentary? Uh, yeah, I'm 75 years old now and this is my debut on the mic. <laughs> Let's see how we get on. Just to see if all these pressmen really knew what they were talking about <laughs> 53 years ago. So Brian, we've got Macclesfield tonight. This should be a walk in the park, hopefully. Bottom of League Two at the moment they are. Yeah, I mean, I, um, I'm affiliated to Southend and uh, I've, you know, I've been to Macclesfield quite a few times to see these play. And um, they've always been a decent side in, in the divisions, but always like in one or two. But uh, at the moment they're lingering at the bottom of, of the second division, so surely we should uh, put them to sleep tonight. And oh, it, lovely. One, two, three, Jonah. That's a bright little start from Dean John. Making his debut this evening. Got a great little haircut as well, Brian. Number 45. Yeah, this is. Uh, they tell me this lad is really tricky and got a lot of pace about him. I'm expecting some good things from him tonight. It's nice to be here just to see these young lads who are you know, in the academy um, to you know strut their place tonight. And uh, I'm quite I'm quite looking forward to it. You, you came through the academy yourself, didn't you? Yeah, in 1959 I, I joined West Ham. Johnny Sissons, Ronnie Boyce, Jeff Hurst, Martin Peters, Bobby Moore, to name but a few, Eddie Bobbitt and Jack Berkey. Um, we, you know, we, we didn't have the, uh, the facilities that these young lads have got now. But, um, Where did you train? Um, we trained um, at Grange Farm, um, if you could get a lift. <laughs> I mean, we had some great results away from home. I mean, we, I mean in 62, 63, we played Liverpool. Kenny Brown was injured, David Bickles made his league debut at Liverpool, what a place to make your league debut. And we beat them 2-1. Jim saved the penalty from Ronnie Moran. Really? And it took us 52 years to win again. Were <laughs> <then. laughs> well, you a little bit sad when West Ham beat Liverpool at Anfield because it was like that record? You, no, you know, no. You just, it lasted long enough, didn't it? Yeah. West Ham really playing some nice football now, nice passing yeah, it's football. Good. Reminiscent of the team in the 60s that you played with, Brian? Um, well, yeah, you're, you're being very nice to me tonight. <laughs> I did score one, I did score a headed goal against Peter Shilton once. Yeah? But my head was a bit like a football bit. I didn't know where it was going and he certainly didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a good thing you didn't head the ball. The balls in those days made of like concrete, weren't well, they? Well, they, they weren't bad. We used to play with Stuart Surridge, who was a cricketer. He used, yeah. to, used to provide footballs as well. Ernie Gregory used to pump them up like peas. He reckoned it was like good for him. Like, yeah. I mean, Ron Greenwood was, was a, he was a very clever man. When we used to play on pitches, it was really hard, bone hard, because you know we we never played on a pitch like this. Mm. Even this time of the year, it was going the other way. Right. He used to get the referee to let the ball down a bit, so it didn't bounce right. And when it was really muddy, he used to want him to pump it up as hard as he yeah. could, so it would like ping around. So do you remember the first time you met Bobby Moore? Um, do I remember? No, I don't remember the first time. You see, when we were kids, there was we 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 mixed with the, the other lads, but Bobby was um, he was taken aback then. Malcolm Allison and Noel Campbell and John Bond, they really took him under their wing. Malcolm especially, Malcolm. Absolutely. I mean, when Bobby got married, Malcolm and Noel went on his honeymoon. They turned up on his honeymoon <laughs> and told Tina that he asked them to go. Yeah, as I was saying, I was set at Wembley and there was a guy near us and he went, I haven't seen much of Bobby Moore on mine. And Malcolm turned around and said, because he hasn't made any mistakes. <laughs> So who was in the who was in the gang then? There's a, there's a story. Our little gang. Blackpool oh. FA Cup. Who was on that night out with Bob, Bobby Moore the night before Blackpool um, and FA Cup? Myself. Yeah. Got goaded into going. Who was the ring? Was Bobby the ring? Jimmy Greaves. I mean, I was in very elite company. Yeah. Um, Clyde Best. Um, Rob Jenkins. Bob Garden, who was the, the boss of um, the big um, the Saturday Night Soccer. You know the. Big match on Saturday So, what was it like to play in the same team as Bobby Moore? Was, it, could you just, was he just a class above? Yes, he was. Patient with everybody. Yeah? Yeah, never. 
Did he need to be patient with you at times? No, not really. He was. You know, he was. He was good. He was always helpful, Bobby. He, he wasn't that loud on the field. It's just, yeah. it, just by example, Bob. Yeah. I mean, he was smart. Smart the thing, almost. The pictures of him. He's always immaculate. Oh he yeah. Always yeah. Looks I remember him scoring a goal at Larkton Park one night and it ro ricocheted in the net off of someone and he, he stood there and wiped the back of his sock with his boot. <laughs> 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 but he, and he never scored many goals, Bob. Oh, corner to West Ham. And you got a biscuit right like this. Did you get this down South End? No, the catering's very good here. <laughs> How would, did you score your goals? What was your modus? I used to, Ron used to, I used to smash him in from anywhere, Yeah. even close, and Ron used to say, Ron, like, it was very precise, man, why don't yeah. you just knock him in? I said, no, I don't like to, <laughs> you know, I like to see him go in the back of the net. <laughs> oh, oh, back to the foul to clear there, there it lies, Black and Rice, put it across, I tell you! Romeo West Ham. Great goal, Brian, well worked. Well, a bit fortuitous from the knock-on just outside the box, but um, a good cross, good bowling, good cross. There he goes, he's running at him, they're terrified when he runs at him, he's cut inside, he's going to get a shot. Oh, oh, that's a goal, that's a goal. Oh. Yes! Goal for West Ham. And it looks like Robert Stoddbrass has got it. 2 now. Well, I have to say, Dian Jana there, he did the business, didn't he? Great skill from the little fella, yeah. Might just get you to stop playing the... Uh, <laughs> I've just been told off for playing with my biscuit. It's a co-commentary debut, so there will be a lot of slack offered. Very nervous. <laughs> it's a low. It's not grass. Perez! Yes. 3-0! Great start. Great start. 3-0. I mean, I said 4-1 yeah, in the lounge. You did. I think I'm going to... I think they're going to outpace me. <laughs> Did you ever step over in your locker, Brian? Were you like, did you have a little step over, a little trick? No, no. no. Just probably power. tripped up. <laughs> Might get you to put down that team sheet. Yeah. <laughs> We've got five penalty points at the moment. <laughs> He's got Fredericks on the overlap. He's found him. West Ham got bodies in the box. Macclesfield have fit him. Fredericks is going to beat the man. Get a shot oh. in. What a goal! What a strike. What Four a nil. Strike. Fredericks. Four nil. Everyone was waiting for the cross, he just put it in the top corner. Yeah, very acute angle, great strike. I think if, for people who remember him when he was at Fulham, he, he got in them positions at Fulham. Yeah. And Macclesfield have got a chance here. He should have hit it first a time. Rare attack. Oh, no! Goal! Macclesfield have had a shot. <laughs> Brought, it's brought Adrian to his knees. <laughs> oh, and he's, he's wringing his fingers out as well now. There's there he goes. Oh, he's Bonner! He's on it! Oh, 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 oh. It's been coming, Brian, from Ong Bonner. Well, he's had three that's been cleared off the line. He's, he's chuffed with that. Have you, you, you ever played in a game where West Ham absolutely hammered a team? No, but I watched the game once when we <laughs> hammered a team. I wasn't in the side at the time. We played Leeds at home in the League Cup and beat them seven 0 And that side was just, that side were the invincible side they had, and we absolutely annihilated them. Yeah. I was at a sportsman's dinner at South End, and Billy Bremner was a guest. Yeah. And he got up, and then he said, uh, "Any questions?" And I said, "Billy," I said, "What was the biggest defeat you ever had?" He said, "I knew it was going to come." He said. <laughs> <laughs> He had to tell them all. <laughs> Seven nil. It's great to see a young kid who wants the ball all the time as well. Yeah. You know, he's not hiding. He's not phased by this big pitch or players around him. I know there's not many great players on the other side, but you know his teammates. Most of them are seasoned pros, and um, he doesn't seem out of place at all. Oh, he's weaving inside. Right, still Ross is here. Number six, Snodgrass on a hat trick. That's his second goal since he's been here. Yes, yeah, yeah. He scored his first tonight. He's just got his second. I mean, now players they go for these pre-match bills and everything. We, 
home games we just used to get to the ground for yeah. one o'clock. Our, pre -match, our pre match away from home was yeah, so Philly State and Rice Pudding. <laughs> <laughs> For 60 years since the uh, since the debut of Bobby Moore, so I guess he made his debut a year. What was it, a year before you came into yeah. the uh... against Manchester United? Yeah, were you at that game? I probably was. Yeah, I probably bunked him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I used to look after cars. In the look car after park. your car, Mister. Oh really? In the street. Yeah. And then you'd sneak in and see the game, and then rush out before the end. Looked after your car. Don't you might be really? getting sixpence or a shilling. And round the back of the, the chicken run, people had houses, they used to put bikes in theirs. Oh yeah? People used to turn up on a bike. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to run at them, just to try and get a shot away. Oh, a lovely little one-two. Oh, yeah! Yeah, 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 number seven! He's got his goal, the little fella. That's a lovely one-two on the edge of the box, and it's number seven. Seven nil. And he gives the cross a sign, Brian. That's the next generation, the academy. It's churning them out again, it looks like. 24 minutes plus injury time, tens the record. It's starting to look, we could be about to see another record broken here. My co-commentator's getting very excited. <laughs> Snodgrass will go over the football tonight if he plays his cards yeah, yeah. right. Do you reckon he'll take a penalty if we get one? Oh, we'll have to see. How many hatchet balls have you got in your um, playing career? Have you, got, have you got the ball from the West Brom game? Yeah, I'd, I had a hat trick in there in six minutes. And then the, the other hat trick I had was against Peter Shilton, 1968, yeah. boxing day at Upton Park. Two days later, I got another two against him. Pow. Oh, he's found Dan John, it's broken very here. And he's slotted yeah. number eight. Number eight, Dan John. <laughs> Brady Dan Garner, man there he man. is, on the screen, in blazing colour, claret and blue all round him, excellent. Been great hasn't he? Yeah, Brian. really good, really good. Full That's time it. Brian, West Ham United 8, Macclesfield nil. it's been 59 years since she graduated from the academy, There's several young players made an impression tonight as you once did, chief among them, Dan Garner, what an evening he has. Fantastic. Are you pleased to see these, these young players going through? It was a good performance by the team tonight. I mean, you know, we, we never underestimated Macclesfield. They started off quite well, Macclesfield. But once we got the two goals, yeah, it was all over. It was all over there. Well, but, you know, we could have sat back and just knocked it about, but we, we went for goals and got eight. So, yeah. good job. Job good. done. Good job. Excellent. Job done. And Brian, thank you for making your co-commentary debut. It's been an absolute pleasure sharing this evening with you.